I need to lose some weight. What's up family and welcome to today's video. One of the biggest questions I get as a quote unquote fitness influencer is Jordan, how do I lose weight? And not only that, I only wanna lose fat. I wanna lose nothing else, only fat. So I'll do my best with that portion, but I can definitely help you figure out how to lose some weight. So one of the first things I do every single morning is I drink two cups of black coffee. If you watch my YouTube channel, you know this already. One reason I do that is because coffee is a great appetite suppressant. One huge factor here though, is I'm not putting any cream or sugar in this guy. So it is plain black coffee, which I personally love. I didn't love it at first, but now I will take it no other ways. I will have it no other ways. I am stuck on the black coffee and I absolutely love it. What's that saying? Probably not gonna say it, but you know you know where I'm going with this. But guys, let's hop right onto this video. See you on the other side. First meal of the day is going down and we got some onion, sweet potato, sausage that will steam slash saute together. Freaking delicious, you gotta try it out. And then we got some eggs that we'll just throw on top of that. And I'll just kind of fry those up and I'm telling you, it is a delicious meal. There's very little sugar in this meal. So you got a little bit in the sweet potatoes and talking about sugar, that is one of the main things that I tried to prevent eating when I'm losing weight. It is terrible for the weight loss it is not good for you in general, so I try to stay away from the sugar as much as possible. I know it's delicious, but come on, you're trying to lose weight, you got big goals, let's make them happen. Second thing, I make sure none of my meals are massive. I don't want to be eating to a point where I'm sluggish after my meal. So yes, about when I feel full, that's when I stop eating. For that first five to 10 minutes, you're probably going to be like, wow, I really want some more food, but it goes away pretty quickly. This, uh, it's, uh, you got to suffer a little bit to reach your goals. Okay. So let's get this move going and yeah. All right, y'all, so we just got to the gym and the parking lot is pretty packed. So I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can, but no promises. We got some main points we're gonna focus on in here. Higher reps with good form reps, making sure we're breaking down that muscle, making sure we hit our cardio. We gotta be hitting your cardio when you're trying to trim down and lose some weight. And then most importantly, let's break a sweat and have some fun. So yeah, let's go get it, baby.
trying to lose weight. You gotta be hitting that cardio. And cardio doesn't have to be super fast sprints or super fast pace. Even a good walk is good cardio. So huge, huge uh, factor if you're trying to lose weight, y'all. Just got done with the gym. It was a nice, long, brutal session, but now it's time to go eat. All right, y'all, so we just got home from the gym and I am starving. It was an absolute savage workout. I think the only thing we didn't get on camera was the tricep extensions and the bear crawls, but everything else, y'all got a sneak peek at. So all we have here is about a six to seven ounce hamburger patty and then about three ounces of sweet potato. No, I don't personally track my macros and I don't think most people need to. If you're trying to go to the next level, of course, you're gonna have to track your food. But for somebody like me, what I like to do is I just make sure I'm eating clean foods, lean meats, and then veggies, things that come from the earth. I try to stay away from the pasta, the breads, things like that. Those are going to be your big factors. But the main way you're gonna lose weight is being in a calorie deficit. You're not gonna be in a calorie deficit if every single meal you are just stuffing yourself. So I try to keep my meals where when I get done with them, I am still functional, I'm not groggy, and I keep the sugar low on top of everything else. If you're eating clean foods and you're not just stuffing yourself, then you will be all right. I promise you, as long as you're getting in the gym, as long as you're getting active, not even in the gym, you can go to a field, you can go on long walks, runs every day, just keep your body moving, get the calories burning. But I'm gonna get into this food. I'm gonna get into this food. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, y'all, so I am currently working on this video right now, and one thing I wanted to talk to y'all about is drinking water. Water has so many benefits to it, but especially when you're trying to cut weight and you're trying to cut fat, you should definitely be drinking your water. A lot of people have the misconception that juices and things like sports drinks, Powerade, Gatorade are good for you. In reality, those things have a ton of sugar. So at minimum, you should dilute your Gatorades, Powerades, things like that with some water, or there's a lot of options out there like branch chain amino acids that are gonna have zero sugar or maybe one to two grams of sugar. But when you go look at one of those Gatorade bottles, you're gonna have anywhere depending on the size of course, anywhere from 20 grams up to like 50 grams and you should pay attention to how many servings are in each bottle because sometimes they tell you a number but there's two servings for one bottle. So you gotta be careful of that. But another thing I notice when I'm drinking water, I don't feel the need to eat as much. So I'll be pounding water, especially when I'm eating and I don't feel the need to, uh, to pound food like I normally do. It's a false filling but it does help tons but let me get back to it in this video. So you're on your way to looking like a snack, but you need a couple snacks along the way. I got you covered, fam. Here are three staples in my diet, starting off with the Kabani, Kabani Complete Yogurt. I go with this option because it has zero added sugar, which still leaves seven grams of sugar in the yogurt. So y'all be careful because most of your yogurts are gonna have anywhere from 15 to 20 grams. And then if you add anything into it, definitely need to be cautious. Moving on to our jerky. Y'all know I absolutely love jerky. I usually make mine at home and here's why. This has seven grams of sugar in it. So you don't really need that. It does taste a little bit better than mine, I'll be honest. But we're talking about seven grams of sugar. When I make it at home, it's cheaper, it's healthier. So I do usually try to make it at home, but jerky is another great option for snacks. Just make sure with whatever brand you get, you pay attention, what are they adding to it? And then last but not least, the loved, the hated rice cakes. I have the apple cinnamon right now. I usually go with the chocolate. That is my absolute favorite. But they are always, always, always out of the chocolate. So I settle for this or the caramel. You can, these are only 50 calories per slab. So you can eat freaking six of those things and only be at 300 calories. And that's a lot of volume. That's like that right there. That's like half of the sleeve almost and you're only at 300 calories so the flavored ones actually aren't that bad so guys don't worry you can still have some snacks on your journey to looking like a snack all right y'all so we are out on a walk with the pupperoons one thing that i never waver on when i am in a cut is i make sure that i reach my step goal each and every day my personal goal is 12,000 steps that may be a little bit much for some of you, but I would highly recommend setting a step count goal and um, reaching it every single day. That'll help you move a little bit more and 
It's just one more goal you get to achieve each and every day, and it's not a hard goal, but it puts you in line with your goals. So we're gonna get a little bit faster pace on this walk, and my arms get tired, so. Out. And this, and it is time. You done? Must be some good water. And it is time for dinner. So we have about eight ounces of tilapia and about six ounces of rice. And this will be my last meal of the day. I may have a snack before I go to bed, but no more big meals before we go to bed. And one thing y'all should know, this is not what I eat every single night. So my food is constantly changing, but it is consistently clean food. And that is the main thing you should worry about if you're on your weight loss journey. That is the biggest thing overall. If you have a bad day here and there, it doesn't matter long term. If you're planning on sticking with your goal, uh, just long term in general, five, 10 years or lifelong uh, journey, then it doesn't matter. If you have a bad day, just get back on track the next day and it's no big deal. Just stay consistent. And, but I am about to put the smack down on this food. Just remember y'all, try to move as much as possible. Get those steps in, stay consistent, eat clean foods, and I promise you will reach your goal. If y'all like this video today, make sure you throw a thumbs up on it. It helps so much with the algorithm and YouTube's gonna throw it in front of more people. Throw a comment, tell me what y'all wanna see next. Did you like today's video? And then after you get done with all that, subscribe and turn on those notifications. As always, I will see y'all on the next video.